Hello everybody, my name is Chris, and today we're doing Sombra. Sombra is probably a f really fun DPS character to play as. I like her motif of hacking and being undetected. She's more of a flanker than anything, especially with her ult. The only problem I have with her is that she's impossible to kill. Like... I've gotten out of so many tight jams with her, and I, it, she's so hard to kill if she's not already hacked. She's just a pain in the ass. Fun as hell to play as, but just impossible to, to kill, and I hate that about her. Uh, her overall design, though, is really solid. I like the purple and the pink and the blue. Like, It's very, well, sombra. I like the idea. I like the fact that she you know, kind of kept the shaved head look. Which kind of went out of style before she was created, but it's up to her. It's her own fucking thing. Uh, yeah, I like it. Her worst reskin is Noche? Noche? I don't know. Uh, while I like black and red as a color scheme and even white, it doesn't go well with Sombra. Sombra is a character who is defined by her color colorfulness. She's very bright and loud and very in your face, even though she's a hacker, but her confidence gives her the the right to be that way. That's like what the color is for. Stripping her of that color just makes her bland. Next up is Incognito, and it's very bright, like I like on her, but the problem is that it's too much like Tracer. It's just orange and red, and that's it. It works, but it could be better. Next up is Critical? Critical? I don't know. C I. C-I-D-R-O. And while I like the lime green on her and all that, you know, it works with her bright personality, it's just not a good color scheme. It's just a bit too ugly. Just a bit too safe, also. However, the best of her reskins is Mar. Mar is what her color schemes should be. Pink and purple work well for her, but this tealish green into a nice deep blue works because it's supposed to be the offset, and it works because it's just a nice set of colors that complement her base design. Sombra is someone who is best known for her her neon aesthetic, and this neon blue with this neon green is extremely well done. What can I say? I like the girl in bright colors. Her worst skin is Oro, and the reason Oro is kind of the worst is that it takes what I didn't like about the last two skins, uh, Norcho and Incognito, and it makes them very... it just kind of blends them. It's, again, kind of like with a lot of the anniversary skins, they like to, make, they like to use orange at, and white as the base color, but as I said before, Sombra is all about bright colors. So having her be kind of muted like this doesn't really speak to her character. It speaks more to the game as a whole, which, if that's what you're going for, fine. But it fucks with your character's lore, and I hate that. Next up is Glitch, and while I like the green on this, I do, I have to go again with the fact that it's just not enough color. She's very bright, but the base outfit's too white for me to care. She's too... It's a too simple, almost monochromatic kind of color scheme on her, and it could have been a lot better. Next up is Los Motoroso. I think that's how you pronounce that. And while this one has purple and black and all that, and it's a very nice, bright idea for her face and the, the light-up paint, I, I like that part. I don't really like the hair, and I don't really like how... I don't know, I just, the mohawk really is the biggest problem. I just don't like the mohawk. And that's really my biggest concern. Good concept, just not a big fan of the hair. These are all really good skins, because they're all the same base concept. Like, they've stuck to our core idea for her, so I can't really critique it on anything other than minor details at this point. Next up is Augmented, and the reason Augmented is here is... Well, much like with the previous couple ones, I feel like this one's a bit too dark. Again, the the purple is keeping in her color scheme, but I don't understand the blonde hair. I don't understand why it's so black. I don't I don't get it. I think they were trying to like inverse her colors to make it more 
menacing. And while that works to a certain extent, I just think that this could have been a different color scheme. But we'll get to that later. Next up is Bride. And the reason Bride just kind of throws me off is that... Obviously, it's supposed to be the Bride of Frankenstein. That's the whole gimmick. But... I don't know, like, this makes me think of Junkenstein's monster, because that's supposed to be Frankenstein's monster in general. Why pair her up with Roadhog? That just seems stupid. I mean, it's a cute d design, and I like her hair in it, but... Seriously, what the fuck? Next up is Mexiconica? Mexicanica? I don't know. The, it's her summer game. It's one of her summer games skin, and it's just a recolor of her base skin. It's one of those outfits I really don't like, but this actually works. This shade of green tinting the whole outfit with the accents of red really actually works for this skin's benefit because it's not so ugly. It's not so mismatched. There's actual care put into this. It's not the best, but it certainly has something going for it, and that gives it points. Next up is the Zucar. Azucar? I don't know. And this one's a much better version of its of the skin previously with this same design. Because this one has while I'm not wild about the hair, the hair is a different color. It it complements the brightness of the outfit. I like the different bone uh painting on her. I like the color of the outfit. I like the accents of pink and purple, and I like the fact that really this could have just been a normal Halloween skin, but this is just part of her culture. And that's the important part. It's part of who Sombra is, not so much a gimmick. Next up is Talon, and I love this design for her. It's a lot of white and black, but it has a lot of accents of red to it that make it more distinct. I also like the little red line reticle on her gun, same thing with McCree. I like the idea they're going for, that Talon had a very... Uh, uh, uniform approach to each of their mercenaries, and Sombra's no different. Although I love, I have to say, I love her hair in this skin. I call it her Karen skin, because she looks like a, a woman named Karen with that kind of hairstyle. Which just makes her more of a bitch, and that's hilarious. Next up is Cyberspace, and this is a much better version of Augmented, because well, first of all, the hair is more in keeping with the costume's design. The costume itself is very bright and very colorful, which is what I've said before about Sombra numerous times in this video. I like the light blue. I like the white. The black base of her outfit actually complements the lighter shades and gives you something to focus on when you're trying to hit her. This is an overall really well done skin, and ironically, it's the more white version that I usually don't like, but because of the white and the blue, it works for what they're going for. Augmented's more in keeping with her character, this one's just more... well designed. I don't know what else to tell you. Next up is Rhyme. Rhyme is... well, it's a lot of blue, like I said before, and it's a very angular design for her, which, for Sombra, works because she's all about computers and hacking and all that jazz. The winter design is kept through, much like with Shiver and Reaper, they have like this cold, like almost thawing out steam coming off of her, which I think is really fun. I like how she's kind of like Killer Frost in a way, which she's a co that's a villain from DC Comics who just has a killing boner and I like that about her. Uh, just it it's a reminiscent it's reminiscent of a villain I enjoy. It's a reminiscent of a season I love, and it's reminiscent of a skin I love in this game. What can I say? They did a pretty good job on this one. Next up is Virus, and Virus is this high up because while the hair is a bit distracting with it being white, its color scheme is more in keeping with Sombra's character. It's very well done. The purple to blue ratio is very well. Handled, I do wish it was a little more matte, but Sombra is all about that flashy flash bling bling, so it doesn't really bother me. The only complaint I have is that, well, I wish the hair was maybe a darker purple instead of white, or it was the lighter purple and then it faded into the pink. I don't know, but overall, this is a very well-rounded skin. Our runner-up is Tulium, and the reason this one is the runner-up is the fact that there's so much design to this, there's so much detail. 
it's another Summer Games skin. So she's got flippers. She's got normal shoes. She's got socks. She's got uh, shorts. She's got this weird skirt thing that mimics her coat. Her hair is down in a full head of hair for once. It's actually a nice shade of bluish purple on her. The outfit's a very nice electric green, but it's not distracting. And I, I like this outfit. This is a very nice, well-thought-out outfit. And it's probably her most creative one. However, it did get beat out by one skin. And that was... Peppermint. Why did Peppermint beat out everything else? Well, this is a more... Well, it's a more thought-out design, is what I should say. You've got the, the mint green at the tips of her her extremities, like her legs and arms. You've got the glossy mauvey red around her body, the white stripes to go with the red to make it look like a candy cane, because, you know, peppermint candy canes. The, the gold accents, the green in her cybernetic headpiece. You've got this is just a well thought out skin. It's very pretty, very nicely done. It's peppermint. It it's a hol it's a holiday skin, and it called itself peppermint, and it accomplished that goal. When I see this skin, I think of the flavor of peppermint, and that's really all it came down to was what I thought of when I thought of the name peppermint. And that's just one. Plus, it's also a holiday skin. And I just love those. Alright, with that being said and done, my name is Chris. As always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do what you do, and I'll see you guys next time. Don't be suspicious. Don't tell me suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't tell me suspicious. Don't tell me suspicious. Don't be 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 suspicious.